Well, Matt's exam is tomorrow. How does it feel? Feels good where I'm sitting. I did mine. 13 years ago. Wow, sounds kind of long when I mention it. So I know some of you all asking me about multiple choice, multiple choice, do some multiple choice. I can't do multiple choice, multiple choice, copyright and that's serious. CXC will ask me to take down the video. So now we're going to go through that and do no multiple choice and get shine up, right? So what you can do is follow me on Instagram and any multiple choice question you have, ask me. Any multiple choice practice questions, any multiple choice questions you have, ask me and I will let you know yes or no whether your answer is correct. I can't spend too much time because there's not much people in my inbox right now. It crap. So I wouldn't be able to answer people two questions because it will take up too much time if I have to answer everybody. But multiple choice questions, if you have a problem, send me and I will tell you yes or no if it's correct. And if I have time, I might even give you a little solution. So let me do a little quick review on factorizing, factorization and specifically number two in your paper, number two in the paper, the second question that you're going to see in the exam tomorrow, that's how you can away there, tomorrow exam, wow, anyhow, let me start playing these games I'll tell you. Right, so in the second question, you know the second question is all about algebra and a big part of algebra is factorizing, so there's a strong chance that a, a good portion of max is going to go to factorizing. But there are only four ways that CXC acts factorizing on in this question and I went through the last 10 years plus of past papers to check out all the different ways and put it in a little nice little nutshell for you. Um, these are the ways. Difference of two squares, quadratics, four terms, I'll explain what that means, and a wild up scene. Alright, which is just factorize, I just call it wild. So I will go through each one of these individually, do examples from past paper questions and at the end of the video I will give you questions from different past paper questions and you will choose which method you think you need to do and do it all. Just a little quick revision one day before the exam, you know. Alright, so let's start off with difference of two squares and as I go through each one you can pause the video and you can try it by yourself. So this is 4m, 4m squared minus 1. So what I am going to do is find the square root of 4m squared, this is equal to 2m, I find the square root of 1, this is equal to 1, and now I just write it, this is how the answer comes, 2m plus 1, 2m plus 1, by 2m, m, take away 1, alright, so, that's that, let's look at another one, x squared minus 36, alright, so the square root of x squared is x, the square root of 36 is 6. You know, there is no plus or minus thing here, right? You just want the straight up square root, the positive value. So x plus 6 and x minus 6. This is where the plus or minus comes into play here. Alright. Um, let me do one more and then I'll leave one for you to do to figure out for yourself. Uh, 4a squared minus 16. Now, this one has a little trick in it, right? So pay attention in case something like this shows up in your exam. There's a common term I can take out here before I jump into the difference of two squares. Like I can do 4 into a squared minus 4. Right, now this I, I will do difference of two squares with this part here. So the square root of a squared is a. The square root of 4 squared is 2. So tell me if you understand how I got this and you can go ahead and try this one for yourself. Um, now nah boy, that one okay nice, I can do it myself. So m squared minus 4m, that's m plus 2n by m take away 2n. Tell me if you understand how I got that. Alright, alright, let me give one for you to do for yourself. You will do the one down in the corner down here. So um, p squared minus 1. Yeah, so you try that guy there and see if you can get him out. Real simple, right? So this is the first style of factorizing. The next style is um, quadratics, which is normally considered one of the toughest styles for some people. But it's not that bad. The method I use is split the middle term into a term that will add back to give me the middle term. But will, when I multiply the two numbers, it will 
multiply to give me a times c now you can go back and check my videos i have on this it's more um i elaborated it a little more but now i will just be speeding through t two t squared minus so i'll get a negative 40 plus one t take away two because four by plus one will give me back three and when i multiply it i'll get negative four so now i can factorize two t into t take away two t take away two and i just put a little plus one here so anytime i get something in the brackets i just write it back there one time right and uh, now this is two t i should have equal signs coming down there but i don't know i don't know room so this is the answer here right let's see our next one that was cool let's try our next one 2x squared plus 5x minus 12 same way i'm looking for a number multiplies two numbers multiplies to give me negative 24 but add to give me 5 so that has to be an 8 and 3 kind of combination so i'll work with a positive 8x negative 3x negative 12 2x squared yeah that looks good yeah that looking good to me so i'll pull out 2x and i'll write x plus let's say 4 and then i put back the x plus 4 here one time and i already see that negative 3 can go there so this will be 2x minus 3 now all of these questions are past paper questions are people every single one so this is equal to that and here we have a nice little one for you to try and feel good about yourself so you try this and see what happens so that's up to you go ahead let's look at the next method the next way it can come the next way it can come is four terms this is what i mean by four terms when you see one two three four terms come like this generally speaking this is what you'll need to do you'll need to find you'll need to factorize two at a time so factorize two at a time going down like this let me show you what i mean so what's common between 3x and 6y? The only thing that's common there is 3 actually. So 3 into x minus 2y. Because 3 by x will give me 3x and 3 by negative 2y will give me back the 6y, the negative 6y. So once I get this, I just write it back here one time. x minus 2y and I look for the missing term. What's the missing term, people? Um, a, because a by x will give me ax and a by negative 2y will give me negative 2ay and I'm close the answer I'm close to the answer I will just come now and say 3 plus a what am I doing I'm taking this I'm taking this and putting it into one bracket and I'll just use one of the x minus 2y's there and that's the end of that all right so that's the four terms simple nice neat clean remember every single one of these things are past papers so Pay close attention. Here's one for you to try. You try this and see if you can get a nice respectable answer. Look at here. See if you can get it out. So let's look at the last way you can come. I just call this method the while up. If you see something that looks like this, if you see something that looks like this and you've not really seen any of the previous methods, it's not really a quadratic because it have an x here and there's a y there and you've not really seen any squares, difference of two squares. It's not four terms. Well, all you can do, my friend, is just factorize very simply. So look for what is common between each term, 6 and 18. You just put 6. Um, we have a y as well. That's common. So uh, what's missing here is y take away. I'll put 3 so I can get back 18 when I multiply. And I'll put an x. And can it go any further? No. That's the answer. And you'll most likely get one mark for that. Let's look at the next one. 2x cubed minus 8x. So what I'll do, I'll look for the common term here, 2 and x, and that's going to give me x squared minus 4. Now this x squared minus 4 is something. That's a difference of two squares. So that happens sometimes. So you pull out the common term, 2x by x squared will give me back 2x cubed, and 2x by negative 4 will give me back um, negative 8x up there. But you just notice all of a sudden that a wild difference of two squares appears so you just need to fix them up to suit that's x plus 2 by x minus 2 so if you stop here you'd have gotten one out of the two marks so you need to go ahead and get your marks all right so yeah do this one tell me if you get through it
And if you want some more past paper questions, have a look, have a go at these. These are also past paper questions, and here they are not in context, so you will have to know which method to use to factorize them. So good luck with that. Lessons in your exam tomorrow. I pray that you remember every single thing that you learn, and even next year too, miracles could happen, right? <laughs>